Welcome to my project ideas. This is an ongoing series on SAP top projects and in this video we will learn SAP ABAP top projects. So we have curated a list of these projects and for your information these projects will not be explained in terms of coding and all. In this particular video we are just focusing upon the different type of projects that a particular SAP ABAP developer or SAP UI5 developer or even an SAP consultant can plan to develop. So these are the projects that you can actually look into on internet and practice them to become a better developer. Anyhow, we have also uh, created an article for you where we have mentioned all these particular projects and we have also mentioned all the references where you can go and learn these projects. So let's get started. So in our list, the very first project is custom workflow development. So an ABAP developer can develop custom workflows in SAP to automate business processes so such as approvals, notifications and other manual tasks. So suppose you have a project where a list of uh, events are uh, present and where you perform one event after the success or failure of another event. So if these dependencies define your project, it means a workflow can be created and this workflow can improve efficiency reduce errors and ensure compliance so the very common and the next project is custom report development so businesses can leverage ABAP app to develop custom reports that provide insights into their operation so sc38 is the t code transition code where you can go and create ABAP reports and these ABAP reports can help decision makers to monitor business performance identify areas for improvement and make informed decisions so custom report is something that you develop using Z or Y naming conventions. The third project list in our uh, video will be enhancement to standard SAP solutions. So SAP do provide ABAP reports, ABAP tables, ABAP classes, objects and a lot of functionality. And those standard functionalities sometimes based upon the business require needs improvement upgradation right and for that sap has created something called enhancements so web developers can enhance standard sap solutions to add custom functionality that aligns with specific business needs so this can improve efficiency and productivity while minimizing the need for manual workarounds the next one is body that is business add-ins so business add-in uh, is something that Businesses can use in a BAP to develop body, which is a technology used to implement custom business logic into existing SAP solutions. So again, it is something related to enhancement. This can help businesses to you know tailor SAP solutions to their specific needs, improving efficiency and accuracy as per their own demand. Again, something uh, that is related to enhancement is something called the user exit development. And a web developer can develop user exits, which, can, which are the points in SAP solutions where custom code can be added. So these allow for the customization of SAP solution and addition of custom functionality. So you need to identify where SAP has provided these points. And for that, you have to you know, perform the methods to find customer custom user exits and uh, Thereafter, you have to provi uh, provide codes that can be used for enhancement. The very common project that we do in an SAP is ABAP object oriented programming. So object oriented programming is a programming paradigm that uses objects to represent data and code. So ABAP developers can use object oriented programming to develop SAP solutions that are more flexible, maintainable and reusable. Certainly, you need to have the basic idea of OOPS concept before you start uh, you know, working on these projects. A very old school way of developing projects in SAP is ABAP Web Dyn Pro development. Many of the latest customers have stopped using it, but old customers are still using it. So businesses used to leverage ABAP Web Dyn Pro to develop custom user interfaces for SAP solutions. So this was used to improve the user experience and make SAP solutions more intuitive and easy to use, which is certainly replaced by something called SAP UI5 or Fury. So the very next uh, will be SAP UI5 or Fury applications, right? 
so certainly you need to identify where exactly you need to have these applications these fury applications and uh, based upon that sap provide multiple solutions so you can write your own code or you can generate the entire uh, back end to front end using simple operations so something o data abap cds abap wrap and sap bopf are involved where you create automatically generated fury applications and in case these are not helpful you can create your own sap ui5 applications so this is a different segment itself where you create fury applications and ui5 applications based on the back end provided by sap and certainly while you are developing the front end you need back end interfaces right so back end interfaces like something that you need to communicate between uh, the two systems that can be both sap or even third party solutions and for that you use something called rfc you use idoc you use rest apis called odata apis then you use uh, cds and bopf so a lot of different ways are there where you can go and learn about these uh, interfaces so yeah the last one is migration into sap hana so sap has something called r by 3 structure and then sap came with sap s4 hana and when whenever there is a upgradation in technology there is a need of migration of the code as well as the migration of data so abap developers can help businesses to migrate their sap solutions to sap s4 hana a high performance in memory database and this can improve application performance and reduce maintenance cost so certainly these are the sap projects that uh, you know we can offer as a developer to businesses and the businesses get a range of opportunities with these sap solutions and by leveraging you know sap abap businesses can automate processes improve decision making and even improve the user experience so the above list of project that is a uh, that is we have just uh, discussed is not exhaustive but it provides a good starting point for businesses to look uh, into sap solutions and leverage those solutions for their operations so i believe this video was helpful to you and we'll discuss more in different videos thank you very much so